From the students of the Department of Meteorology and Atmospheric Science, here is your Penn State Campus Weather Service forecast. Good afternoon and happy Friday. I'm student meteorologist Julia Angerman here with your Campus Weather Service forecast. Taking a live look at Beaver Stadium right now, we can see not a cloud in sight, plenty of sun coming through right now in that beautiful fall foliage as well in kind of peak season here. Temperatures currently sitting around 46 degrees and those low dew points and calm winds leading to really pleasant conditions outside right now as a result of that high pressure kind of sitting over our region. Uh, as we look across the region, we can see uh, mostly 40 degree temperatures, couple 50s as well. You see Harrisburg down at 52. Uh, as we pan out for the rest of the Commonwealth as well, some 50s. Uh, that will be warming up even into the 60s later today. Uh, Philadelphia already sitting at 53 right now. Uh, the past couple of days have been quite warm here, even topping into the 70s at some portion of the state, which is quite above average for October. But we can see we're starting to dip back down a little bit closer to average for this time of year, with the eastern half of the state especially uh, seeing quite a bit cooler temperatures the past 24 hours compared to earlier in the week. And if we take a look at our temperatures for the next couple of days across the northeast region, we can see here broadly kind of in the 50s, to overnight tonight, temperatures will be pretty mild, only dipping down into the mid 40s or so. Even some more um, regions along the coast will e stay in the 50s for those low temperatures overnight. But not too, not too warm tomorrow. Uh, the widely in the the 50s, and then even tomorrow night, then we'll see. We'll really start to dip down. This is more what we would expect for this time of year. Kind of. Those purple colors shown we're getting into the mid uh, 30s, excuse me, and so some frost overnight could be possible the next couple of days. Temperatures might not even hit 50 on Sunday here in State College, looking maybe in the, the upper 40s. And then as we take a look right now at our current radar, as I said before, we can see not a cloud in sight, a little bit of precip and a band of clouds coming through our region. That's a result of a wider low pressure system, this cold front making its way into our region. And so most of those clouds uh, will still come into our region, but the precipitation will kind of start to dissipate. So we might not even see too much here in Pennsylvania as a result of this cold front. And as I said before, a little bit of scattered precip and clouds. This is overnight tonight. And then as we move into tomorrow, that kind of cloud cover mo moves out into Sunday. We can see pretty clear skies on Sunday. And then we kind of go back into a mostly partly cloudy pattern for the start of next week here, Monday into Tuesday. As we look at your day planner today for State College, as I said, more clouds moving in, temperatures topping out around the, uh, the mid-60s or so for tonight, a little bit more mild dew points. And I just want to mention really quick, we can see a little bit of drought. Uh, mon we have to monitor this drought conditions here, especially uh, the Pittsburgh area, even into West Virginia, also a little bit in the Philadelphia area. Here in State College, not too much. But if we don't get any precip for the next couple of days, this drought could continue to uh, worsen. And as we saw before, most of those showers will actually dissipate before they get to our region. So definitely something to keep an eye on. But for now, our forecast for State College today, topping out around 64, a few more clouds moving in. Tonight, those temperatures remain pretty mild for those lows and still mostly cloudy conditions. On to tomorrow, we can see kind of same story as today, a little bit cooler, some more clouds, but definitely a little bit more breezier, a few more winds as a result of that cold front coming through, kind of sweeping across our region. And as we take a look at your seven day, we can see, as I said before, uh, widely partly cloudy skies passing through our region. Some of those low temperatures dipping down a, a little bit more into the 30s for that frost in Saturday and Sunday over the weekend. But then as we head into next week, we can see even topping out in the 70s as we head into Wednesday and then Thursday for Halloween. So quite above average temperature conditions for Halloween. But stay tuned for, for future forecasts to see if we set any record breaking um, temperatures for that day. From the Penn State Campus Weather Service, I'm Julia Ingerman. Have a great day.